The crisis within the BC Ambulance Service was well documented even before hundreds of British Columbians died in last summer's heat dome. Now there's a growing push to use firefighters to do more to support paramedics. That idea has been recommended a number of times, but there's never been the political will to make the transition. As CTV's Penny Daflos reports, that could be changing. Demand for ambulances and 911 call volume have been soaring for months and so have complaints. I can't get a hold of anybody at 911. How could that even be? He would still be alive if help arrived in time, if I wasn't on hold for 10 minutes. The critical shortage of family doctors in BC, it's a trickle down effect, has turned 911 into a de facto walk in clinic. Even police operations are now impacted as they've begun transporting some patients themselves. It is frustrating uh, for police officers um, who have to uh, wait and knowing that there are other people in need that we are unable to uh, promptly respond to. It has to change or the whole thing's going to collapse. Surrey's former mayor is calling for an overhaul of the ambulance system, which various panels have suggested for years to better utilize firefighters to help paramedics. This is not a new issue. And so putting a Band-Aid on, you know, and trying to plug the hole in the dike, it is not going to work. Paramedics are provincially funded Fire departments are municipal. Thorny jurisdictional funding and union issues have stalled the idea of the two working together more closely or even a hybrid service like Winnipeg has. It's a matter of political will because those recommendations from all of those task forces, from all of the work that's been done, it's already there. I think that's a, in some sense a loaded question. That's a really interesting debate. BC firefighters are first on scene and more than half their calls are medical, but they only provide very basic care and no transportation. The Paramedics Union wants to keep it that way. Downloading that or breaking up that system is not in the best interest of the patients for, or the public in a sense that budgets could. You would put that onto the municipal budgets, so you're duplicating services. Firefighters have the ability to deliver naloxone. Um, it makes a difference in a, in a patient's life. Why can't we expand some of that to where we are supporting the work in the pre-hospital care model and supporting our incoming paramedics? We certainly are working closely and, and realizing that um, we want to make the most efficient use of all services to ensure that we provide the timely care and access for our patients. And Penny joins us with more. Penny, this issue has gotten a lot of attention this year, certainly since the heat dome. We heard Diane Watts say they've been talking about this possible transition for years. So could we actually see some changes? Well, the health minister is definitely looking at firefighters and considering expanding their medical scope for non-urgent patients or better preparing serious cases for ambulance transport. But I don't expect we're going to see fire halls to get their own ambulances. However, it does look like the province will make some sort of formal announcement on some sort of reform in the coming weeks. The heat dump crisis really showed the time for debate is long past and there are short and longer term strategies that are needed now, Mijang. Thank you, Penny.